than messing with the apple in his eye. Come on now. So if you under attack from within, don't worry. Because God's holy angels, they warn against that thing. If you're going through something and you think it's coming from within, it ain't nothing worse than to talk to a man or woman of God and they suffering and they hurting from the church. Yeah, that's right. They ain't coming to you with the hurt from outside the church. They coming to you from the hurt within the church. But I'm here to tell you that the angels of God are warned on. on their behalf. Yes, he yes. is. Isaiah says, when the enemy should come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord should lift up a standard against them. I ain't talking about the enemy out there. I'm talking about the enemy from within. You are a point. You know you're preaching. Here you are with your high and mighty self riding around on your ass. Tagging and boasting about how you see. And how you can do this in the kingdom. And I can prophesy. And got the nerve to be prophesying to people about stuff you still going through. Yeah. Yeah. Using the gifts of God to cause harm to others. Because you know what you get ready to say going to cause harm. That's right. You preach. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 And the ass you riding on is looking at he can see more than you can see. But you would have you the man and woman of God. Come on. Come on. Come on. See, the ass is seeing more than you because of your covenant. Your ambition for the wrong things has blinded you. You seeking the wrong things in the kingdom. You're not seeking to please God. You try to please yourself and man. So you caught up in yourself and you can't even see the warning signs. They all around. Right there. Not all around. Right there in front of you. See, because God is spirit. Those that worship must worship in the spirit of truth. And if you operate in the spirit of God, you're going to see the angel of God getting ready to take you out. You're going to see no wrongs. You're going to see the things that you're doing and saying. But if you caught up in your own crap, in your own idolatry, you can't see nothing. Because your draw is so clean. You can't even see your own dirt. See, the, 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 the jackass understood the law of perseverance. The law of preservation. Because the Bible said that when she saw That's right. the problem, when she saw the angel of God, uh-huh. she had enough sense to turn the other way. Mm. Yeah. She had enough sense to go the other way. This right here, what I'm doing is wrong. Mm-hmm. But instead of keep going, I'm going to turn the other way. Because if I keep going this way, uh-huh. I'm going to lose my life. You don't want to be cut off from the body of Christ. You don't don't want to be cut off from the body. But you keep on going, you're going to be cut off from the body. You're going to be severed. No good no more. We don't need you. The man of God does not see the danger. Instead of taking a hit, the man of God Beats the donkey. They all around you trying to tell you, hold on. <laughs> Minister of God, hold on, woman of God. You're going too far with this yes, thing. Yes, yes, yes. I don't think you're in God's will right now. You ain't trying to hear nothing. Keep right going. Now. You better keep going. Right. Hold on, man and woman of God. Wow. Somebody gonna get hurt. Right. It might be you. Hold on. Yeah. You can't see it. Come on, keep going. You better keep going. You better keep going. The man continues to beat the donkey. Hell bent. Hell bent on harming the people of God. You can't change their mind if you wanted to. See, we all done experienced this. 
We done talked to people like this that's caught up in this thing. So the dumbass has no choice but to continue on. Come on, man. Huh? Come on, man. And the Bible says that she came up on the angel of God again. And she couldn't go to the left or right. So the Bible says the donkey tried to climb the wall to get out of that thing. And caught the man's leg up against the wall. Smashed it. How many accidents have you caused on your way trying to cause harm to the people of God? How many accidents have you caused when you forced your way to go somewhere that God was trying to tell you to go the other way? Who has got hurt in your path? Man and woman of God. Because even after his leg got hurt, a light should have went off. It says something is wrong with this picture. Because this donkey ain't smart enough to turn the other way. But instead, what did he do? Beats it again. Better keep going. Because I'm hell bent. I'm on a mission. I'm going to destroy God's people no matter what. The next time, the angel of the Lord steps out there with the sword. Thank God for the donkey. Thank God for the dumb ass. Because it saved his life. The angel of the Lord standing there again. Now the donkey can't go to the left. Nor go to the right. So what he do? He just drops to the ground. See? I ain't going nowhere. Else. Right. <laughs> you might go to heaven. I ain't going there. I ain't going there. Oh, I don't care how much you beat me. I don't care what you do. You done lost your mind. I ain't going. I ain't going. You ever had a dog or something? Just uh uh-uh. uh. Cause they know something ain't right. You tripping? I had animals. When I was tripping, when I was under, I was tripping. I'm like, come on, we going, we going to get him. Yeah. Dog like, how you doing over there? <laughs> no, come on, you coming. Dog like, uh-uh. I ain't gone. You getting ready to get roughed up. And I ain't trying to get beat up, too. <laughs> Freeze. You see how they do? You got the drag. You trying to go somewhere you shouldn't go.
on our behalf. Angels are dispatched to protect us. But they also protecting the people of God. So if you think that you can cause harm to the people of God and continue to get away with it, I'm here to tell you that you can't. Because they're also warring angels. And they're standing there with swords in their hand. And they're getting ready to take you out if you don't turn. God has given you warnings all along the way. You better take heed to those warnings. Or you will find yourself jacked up. Ask God to open your eyes. God, please open my eyes so I can see in the way I need to be going. Because it's clear that if I was going the way you wanted me to go, some of this stuff might not be happening. How come I'm the only one up here and everybody else saying, uh uh? Everybody else saying no. I'm the only one saying yeah. You know why? Because I'm the honcho. I'm the prophet. I'm the apostle. I'm the bishop. You need to follow. You need to go the way I'm trying to go. Because I got this thing. I got this thing. You only the doorkeeper. You only the musician. You can't tell me. God says, I'll use a dumb ass to tell you to sit down somewhere. Since you can't hear it from the doorkeeper. Since you can't hear it from the usher. Since you think you got it going on. You think that you're the only one I done poured something into. I don't need you like you think I do. I'll take a donkey to show you you off track. Come on, Apostle. Plan the 